Just for fun, I made this ship's wheel. I'd make it a little different in the future, but here's what I did. And uh, I think it'll be fun to put on the canoe or maybe even my sailboat. So I found some old stair rails or whatever you call these things. Um, I don't know, at some secondhand store. I cut off the, the long part of them. I just wanted the decorative section there. I thought that would be nice for the handle. I'm just eyeballing what I thought might be a good length. And, uh, and then I cut the inside angle off at a 45 degree so that they'd all fit together. No, I'm sorry, not 45 degree, whatever, a uh, 60 degree because there's six of them. Six times 60 is 360 degrees. So that's what I was going with. And you'll see here in a second that it wasn't really the right angle I should have cut at, but all these at a 60 degree angle will fit together in a circle. And you'll see here how I messed up though, once I get them all, right? If I stack them like this, the angle is correct, but look at how they don't line up with the one across from them, right? They're off by a bit. So I didn't account for that. If I had done them at a, a pointed angle, you know, a little bit on each side, maybe that would have worked, but oh well, I'm making it up as I go. So what I ended up doing is just spreading them out a little bit so that there was a hole in the middle and I'll, I might fill that hole in later, or maybe what I'll do is, is use some epoxy uh, to fill it, or maybe I'll just make an axle that goes through it. So here's what they ended up look like. This is what I went with. There's just a little bit of a hexagon there in the middle. We'll see. Uh, the handles are a little too long. I'm going to cut those later, I think. Yeah, and so then I put some bracing in between these little pieces of scrap wood. I was just you know, guessing what I thought would be about the right length. There's two, what did I do? Is that 35 degrees on each side of those? Or 30 degrees, I'm sorry. So this is from an old chicken coop. And I just cut them to what I thought would be about right. That's good enough for me. Put down some plastic so I could glue the pieces. Placing them how I thought I wanted them to be. Looks fine. Oh yeah, then I drilled holes through the handles to drill them straight into that sacrificial plywood on the back once I had the glue in place. So I've glued everything. Again, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I love your thoughts and feedback. I screwed the handle boards or whatever you call those down and then clamped the braces to it. Everything's glued it in place. And once I felt like it was pretty good, those clamps will hold the whole thing together now, those three clamps. I could take the screws out and actually take it off of the plastic and it'll still hold together just fine. Uh, as long as there's a lot of pressure on those clamps, they those three clamps are holding everything in one piece now. I just needed to screw it down to get it all together with the glue on it. At least that's the only way I thought to do it. Now there's a lot of imperfections in here. I'm going to end up filling in, you know, with a light epoxy, a, a very un non viscous very very flowy epoxy to get in all those gaps and hopefully make it a little stronger. But it'll be fine, right? And you can see how those braces, that 2 by 3 is a little wider than the stair banisters. So I'm going to have to grind them all down and make them pretty even here, which I think is my next step. Yeah, right there you can see how unlevel it is. So, yeah, it looks pretty ugly, but that's okay. It's going to have character. Okay. Here's an axle. I just um, shaved off some ends of this dowel just to see if it would work. So I might do something like that to mount it to the boat. And then I use that flap disc to grind it all down. There it is. I didn't show me grinding it. I just ground those two by threes, which were pretty easy. And it's fairly level, fairly smooth on both sides, which is good. That's what I'm going to need. Oh, and here's where I decided that the handles were too long. So I'm going to cut them all short to the same length as that one I'd already experimented with a little bit. So wherever that is, about two and three quarters inch. I'm going to cut them all that length. Uh, it's still a little too long. I would do it differently in the future. It just, it looks a little weird. Those handles are too long and I should have made, moved the, the bracing out a little further. So lesson learned for my next wheel, which I might do a bigger wheel next time with uh, eight handles. Is that what you call those things? The sticks coming out? Spokes, spokes. That's what I'm looking for. Eight spokes rather than six. 
Okay, then I wanted to make some bracing on the outside. I found my two circles that would work well. So I traced them on this plywood to make those, um, whatever you call it. Oh, whoa, that was magical. They just disappeared in there. And then I cut out the outside with my jigsaw. Boom, there you have it, one on each side. That's exactly as ugly as it's going to be. It's perfect for my purposes. And I believe I just glued these on. I Yeah, there we go. I glued them with the wood glue. I did not even... Uh, tack them down, screw them or anything like that. Purely just some clamps and wood glue. I mean, yeah, it's just for fun. A fun project with some scrap wood. And I put a bunch of little wood filler in there, which is all that nasty looking stuff. Uh, and is that the dried product? Okay, so I dried it and sand it. So it's pretty much structurally there now. Um, I, I think I'm showing you that I should have made the, the circle a little wider in it rather than so close to the middle but but I think it'll be fine I just put some finish on which does not match the finish that's on those stair railings it is like two very different shades as you can see but it's gonna make that wheel look uh, it's gonna have a lot of character and obviously the wood glue is still showing perfect that's what I like that's my style I'm very happy with it and then I think what I did next, once the finish dried, or sorry, once the stain dried, I put some epoxy on there and filled in all the gaps and kind of made it a little shiny and smooth on the outside. Yeah, I'm showing you all those gaps. I mean, I just kind of lathered epoxy on it, tried to get it all in there. Okay, so there's some epoxy, and then I think I did a second coat. I used a blowtorch to pop some of those bubbles, got a little shinier. And that's kind of the finished product, more or less. Just let it dry some. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this on my sail canoe, I think. It'll be hilarious, because whose sail canoe has a wheel to steer it? So I need to figure out how to hook it up to the rudder. I think I might do some line and pulleys. Uh, that'll be the easiest. That's basically how they've done it for hundreds of years. Yeah, there you go. There's my little ship's wheel. It's ugly. It might work. It might hold together. We'll see.